Hello, it's Dini, and today I thought I'd do something a bit different. I've seen other booktubers do things like paint the book cover images on their faces, or if you're like one of my least favorite people on this platform, Andrea from Art Books and Other Things, who have actual artistic talent, do drawings related to different book things. I can't do any of that, but I do have Planet Coaster, and in Planet Coaster you can make really interesting things. Like you can see right here, I made book covers out of shapes. And so now I'm going to make actual book cover images out of other shapes and see how it turns out, and I hope it turns out well. Believe in me, please. So first up we're going to go with a legendary book, The Hunger Games. I mean, Mockingjay is actually my favorite of the trilogy, but we're going to go with the original. And you know it has it's shiny, it has crisp lines, and let's see how I do with something so simple. Or seemingly simple. So let's see. Scenery. It has to be golden, we can't forget that. So what's what's this shape? Ooh! Oh perfect! Starting out good. It's an arc. It's very too thick. I would like less thick. Okay, apparently we're gonna go with a thick boy. And gold. I'm already forgetting the controls that I've played this game for like many hours and recently because I had to make the book cover thing. What is the thing? Nope. Nope. There we go. It's the gonna make a circle. Made a circle. Don't look at the not perfect lines. Just look away and pretend it's a lot thinner and more gold. Let's just pretend it's a thing it's not, okay? So now we gotta go with the more complicated bit. Maybe I'll start out with the, like, arrow thingy. <laughs> Let's find a stick. That's not a stick. Rocks, plants, trees? Stick tree. Nope. <laughs> I'm already going for, like, the way too hard things. Like, a bench. I can't even put a bench there. Rude. I just want- okay, let me search stick. Stick don't exist. I'm gonna go back to shapes. I need to make you that way. You're the wrong color though. Gotta be gold. Now we have to move you. Okay, so it's slightly angled. Oh! <laughs> now go back down. So it ex it extends. We'll start there. Well, then we need to duplicate. Ooh, perfect. Oh wait. Oh, I'm going. I'm going a little too much. I duplicated too many. I had too much fun with duplication. We gotta get rid of some of these duplications. Back to shape. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. Should we go with the massive one? The large. I'm medium. I mean, like, extra large is just too much. Gotta go with gold again. Perfect. Now we need the little, what are they called? The feather part at the end. I don't remember what it's called. I think that, that would work. Yeah, that would work. So now we have to get into the complicated part. Can this just be it? Like, we don't need a Mockingjay. I think an arrow in a circle is quite sufficient. Okay, so I think this is good for a wing. I mean, it's the same as that. We're going to have to make this, like, slightly a different color because right now we can't see we can't see good so is that mm, yeah ring number one that one's the easier one because it has like it's bigger i don't have to worry about as much i mean it has feathers we'll worry about the feathers in a minute i don't think i'm gonna get anything as fine as that second one so you know what we're just gonna go with this again and now we need the tail there's a lot of fine curves on this on this Mockingjay, and I do not have the finesse very much to get to that point of getting the curves right. But we'll try. Large? Why is it underground? There we go. Okay, this is what we have so far. See, wing one, wing two, little tail butt feathers. I think we accidentally pierced the Mockingjay. I think I didn't make this as, like, lean as the Mockingjay is supposed to be. So now we got the head. So the head of this bird is like a triangle. There's a pyramid. Yeah, why not? Why not a pyramid? Oh! <laughs> okay. That works. 
I just have to make it, okay, it's facing down. We'll just make it, we'll cut it off a little bit. Yeah. We really need to have this not be, you know, such a thick circle. <laughs> Cause it's, it's all just kind of going in together at this point. I mean, if you squint from afar, you can clearly see an arrow. You can clearly see at least two wings. And then, you know what, does the rest of the bird matter? Birds are only their wings, you know? That's the important part. That's what makes them different. Can we give me like, well, I should probably add a little more detail. We'll add in some feathers. So we'll get, we'll get the little ovals. I'm going too fast and you can't even keep, keep up. Yeah, texture in that feather. And as you can see on the picture, there's like a little, you know, it's darker on the underside of the wing. So we'll make that a little bit dark. We'll leave that up there lighter. We'll make this a little darker. Same for under here, because you got, because right now we can't really see. Oh, we need to change the angle. There you go. And the head needs, mm, the head doesn't really have feathers, but maybe on the back. Oh, there we go. Now, now there's some dimension to this, I think. We'll add a little bit on the tip of the wing, cause yeah, there we go. So I think squint. Let's let's. Ooh, yep. Far. Oh, mm, there we go. Far away. Now you can you can see more of a shape. There's like some distinction. Like if there was a light source, like in the picture. So I I think Hunger Games. I get an arrow to the heart because I failed. <laughs> but that's okay. It's fine. I think. You know what, it's a success because it's just shapes and it is somewhat functional as a book cover. Okay, so next up, we're gonna do part of a cover of one of my favorite series of all time, and that is the Three Dark Crown series by Kendara Blake. So, in this cover, it has three different crowns. I'm gonna go for the elemental one, mainly because it has less of the little spire things. And it has fire. And I love the fire in this. So we're gonna go with that one. I'm currently rereading the series and I can't wait to get to the latest of the books and the finale. But anyways, let's start. Okay, so for the elemental crown, we have a base and I think I found a base. That is so much better than the thing I used for the, the, the Mockingjay. So good job me, but we have a base. Bam. It's a little guy, but it works. Cause I think, oh, ooh, never mind. That this is better. That's better. It's bigger. They're queens. They deserve greatness. Bam. Goodbye, you little crown. All right. So it also has. It says it shows three of the little things, but we need probably four. Okay, that's a little excessive. I mean, it's a little spire thingy, but it's a little too big. Okay, this, we're getting close, but it's the wrong shape. It's closer. I might have to come back to it. Okay, I don't think a gingerbread roof's gonna work. Okay, this is an iron chimney. I kind of like this, because, you know, it has fire. Like, iron chimney, you get fire. But yeah, you know what, we're gonna go with this. Can I space these out evenly? Am I capable? <laughs> That's a bit askew. There. Ah, yeah. Look at this view. That was not a, not, oh, that wasn't a good voice. Okay, let's not do that again. So now we need all of the fire in the world, which is my favorite thing of everything. Cause I even have them saved. I have fire all the way saved. Okay, so we got our ring of fire. But we're still not done with fire because these now have to have fire. I like fire. I think we're gonna go slightly big, a bit extra, at least with like the tops of these. Cause like we need some extra fire. I think that's not even enough fire. That's not enough fire. Ooh, I like the way that one looks. I mean, this one's bigger. Why isn't it still going? Keep going forever. You have to keep going forever only works if you keep going forever. How, what is your time? Deactivated. Play once every 10 seconds. I want all the time. One second. Nope. Oh, really? Rude. Rude, rude, rude. I want all the time. 
sporadic is not sufficient, but we'll deal with it. Fine. <laughs> the fact that they just go randomly makes this really sad. So, like, I need to add a fire on top of them to make them somewhat less stupid looking. You are one with the thing. You are one with the thing. Let's see how this looks at night. Oh, <laughs> that's so scary looking. Actually, no, it looks super fun. We're not a cult, I swear. I think this is fit for an elemental queen. Don't you? I think this is great. This this is so much better, I think, than the Mockingjay turned out. I think so. I think there's also some, like, jewels on the, on the crown, so I might add some if we have, like, nice-looking things. There's probably some art shape. Oh, yeah, a little... Little thing, let's make some pretty color. We'll make it purple. They mildly look like bugs. Not bugs, but they don't look... They look very jewel-like. I still wish it just would have the fireworks all the time. I'm in debt, it's fine. Voila! I think that looks great. A plus for Dini. Next up, we have a cover for a book that I'm really excited that's coming out very, very soon, and that is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. So it has the snake. And this snake is actually on a bunch of covers, so pretty much if I do this, just find the snake on the other covers, and I've done, like, all of them then. So it is, you know, a danger noodle, and it is black and shiny. I think I can accomplish this. The problem is going to be, like, the curved part. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna make a danger noodle. A very iconic danger noodle. Beginnings of snake. Okay, so now we have the body of the snake, which was significantly easier than I thought it was going to be. I don't know why. Literally, my joke was gonna be like, it's a danger noodle and put down one thing, but I'm like, this is actually easy. So we're gonna try. And I made the body. Now I just need the head. I made the snake. That's actually like, I'm proud of my snake. I'm proud of it. You know, I think that was, that's even better than the other thing. I mean, it doesn't have scales. It doesn't have, it has some glow to it, but I, that wasn't me. That wasn't my added anything. This was just cylinders. I'll still be proud of it. Not everyone can make anything, but not everyone can make it a masterpiece, but I can make it a something. Okay, so now we have the final book cover I'm going to do, and it is Middle Game by Seanan McGuire. So you might have seen Books and Lala do a kind of recreation of this with her husband and it was absolutely hysterical. I'm going to link that video in the description because one of my favorite things I've ever seen and it was just too much. It was great. I don't think I can make that level of hilarity, but we'll try. So this is going to be a bit harder because I'm going to actually make it like stand up and I don't know if I can do this. So we have to find something that is like functional as a base. I feel like that just needs to be bigger as a circle. You know, because it's like so small. I'm not for buildings. Buildings, they must have something. A cir Do you got uh, any of them circular things? I don't know why I'm looking at windows. What propelled me, to, what compelled me to look at windows? Sometimes there's roofs. Oh yeah, that could work as a thing. I, I don't know how to build up. My problem is like, I'm not sure how to build up and into fingers without it looking <laughs> just like the stumpiest of stumps. Okay, so we're going back with just the boring old circle because I'm boring and it's a boring hand, but it's also like a pretty hand. I really like this book cover. I haven't read the book, but I really like the cover. Okay, so, but see, here's the problem. I need something that's like thick. This is flat. I need, what about, ooh, is the cylinder? I'm dumb, I can use a cylinder. I don't need that. A cylinder, a very large cylinder, is the base. That works. Okay, so that's gonna be like all of from here up. So now I need fingers. Oh, this is gonna look so stupid. Okay. I have to fit like four of these on here? <laughs> They're too thick! Oh! That's the baby. That's, <laughs> that's little nubbins. <laughs> Just little <laughs> nubbins. That's like the thumb. That's like the pinky. That'll be the pinky. And then the pinky. 
We'll make it like stick out a little bit. I don't even know what the, what is this poor hand. And then I need a thumb. No, the thumb can still be medium. Make that white again. But then I need it like sticking out. Cause it's not gonna be perfect. <laughs> That's not how we move it. Oh, it's too low. Okay, nope. Does that work? Oh, just that pinky. Can we like cut you in half? Cause the pinky is so sad. Okay, that pinky is the most delicate thing ever. But I think we technically have a hand. One, two, three, four, five. We got all the fingers. We just need the flame. This was the easiest of the bunch. And I have flames cause they're my favorites. Can we do just all the fire? Oh, it cuts off the pinky. Now let's see what this looks like at night. Ooh, just the flames. Is that a hand? Y'all, you think this is a hand? I think it's sufficiently a hand. I think it's unfortunate that everything is the same width. I mean, it's not technically, but technically it's the hand. I just can't get over that little, the little pinky. Wanna add some fireflies? Oh, now we're, oh, we made it pretty. Oh, I added to the extraness of it all. I don't think that that's not as good as my ninth house snake, but it's not the worst out of them. I still think the Mockingjay is the worst. Y'all are gonna vote for which one is the best. And then also tell me which one you want, like what book cover in the future you wanna see me remake if you liked this video. And it is time to vote for which one is your favorite. We have the Hunger Games Mockingjay with all of its beautiful feathers that are sort of incorporated in the actual book cover. But the best part about it is the arrow. Next, we have the Elemental Crown from Three Dark Crowns with spinning fire and just all the fire and some jewels. Next, the famous Danger Noodle from Ninth House and probably several more books that I don't remember what their names are. Danger Noodle. And finally, the wonderful hand from Middle Game with all of its flames and added fireflies because they're pretty. Please vote in the comments for which one is your favorite and also let me know if there's any book covers you would like me to try to recreate. I'll maybe use more than just shapes next time. Maybe all, all trees and bushes. Only can make things out of trees and bushes. Thanks for watching.